Hey girl. Oh, hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Taurus, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments as well, Taurus. If you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe. So, uh, it, because it does rather help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it Taurus when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Excuse me. But remember Taurus to put it in perspective because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here. Taurus just to give you some food for thought for today, a perspective for you to consider but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live. Taurus, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, darling, let's get into this weekly tarot reading for you today, Taurus. And so the card that I pulled for you today for the overall theme for your energy, Taurus, was the Hermit card coming in here. So this is going to be a week of contemplation for you, Taurus. This is going to be a week where you might feel slightly isolated right slightly in a place of where you feel as if you're not being understood or being seen in a way right this is going to probably be i'm getting this sense taurus that this is coming in due to a reaction to something so, so in other words something kind of putting you in this position as to where you don't really want to um engage with something anymore or almost the sense of where it kind of demotivated you to even bother with things right now i feel like i just saw a Taurus kind of like throw their hands up and just be like well why bother right if it's not going to work out in this way or whatever it's just like why bother and so it feels like this is kind of the state you're in it's just like well why do i bother with this so Taurus, that's it lets me know that you're in this term being state but Let's go in, go in into this a little bit deeper, darling, right? Let's see what more detail we can get for this, Taurus. Cards flying out. So you are thinking about your long-term future, right? Are you having a little bit of frustration, Taurus, in regards to um, where you feel like your life is going? Usually, usually the Two of Wands talks about contracts. Are you not happy with the raise that you've gotten? Have you gotten a raise? I am getting a sense for some of you Tauruses. You're frustrated with how um, you're being treated or taken for granted in some on some level, right? You're feeling a little bit underappreciated. Um, Two of Wands here, definitely thinking about your future. Progressing this storyline, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So you're in this hermiting phase, Taurus, but it's showing to me like you're ready to break out almost. So I don't know if Taurus, if you feel as if like your life has just been limited in some way, or you just, you know, you feel like you've just been slowed down. You know, maybe you've been putting a little bit of pressure on yourself, Taurus, to, um, go at a faster pace than what you normally would go at. I get a sense that some of you Tauruses are picking up a lot more projects or like, well, I don't, I don't want to justify or enable some of you Tauruses. We won't say projects because that makes it sound a lot more professional and busy, right? We'll say a lot more distractions, darling. It feels like you guys have been able to be distracted easily a little bit more. And so you're getting into this place of, um, almost like ready to just like wipe the slate clean and just, you know, for some of you Tauruses, I feel like you're about to readopt like a healthier lifestyle or putting yourself on a more strict schedule, scheduling things out um, for sure. Let's see here, page of wands in the reverse. So yeah, there is this sense of, um, uh, I almost feel like you've neglected something for a while, Taurus, that you're picking back up the sun card in the reverse. Yeah, it feels like there's some aspect of your life, Taurus, that started to um, deteriorate a little bit. Maybe you've gotten some little red flags or signs, maybe some health scares recently, uh, Taurus, or just something that's kind of been like, ooh, I probably should pay attention to that. Even if it's something as simple as, you know, you're starting to get that weird smell in the kitchen because you haven't done the dishes in a while, right? Or you haven't taken the garbage out soon enough right for some of you Tauruses it may just be the sense of like you know when's the last time you let you cleaned your bathroom honey when's the last time you cleaned up your space because even having a clean space as silly as it initially sounds Taurus right 
and still like plays a pivotal role in how productive you're going to be and how you're going to just treat your life, right? If you're in a place that's very unorganized, you have clothes on the bed, right? And you just aren't taking, like things aren't organized, then naturally it's a lot easier to enable yourself to not do as much, right? So let's get a closing card for this road, Taurus. The strength card in the reverse. Hold yourself accountable, Taurus Sterling, right? I don't feel like I need to dive into this too much deeper, but I feel like you already know what you need to do. And this is coming in, and as a sense, Taurus, like <clears throat> hearing some of you guys probably be like, I know, Velka, I know, I know, right? Some of you guys are probably getting up right now and just playing me on the background while you're doing your stuff, right? <laughs> it's fine, honey, it's fine. All right, Taurus, now let's get into uh, messages that your spirit guide has for you, right? This is the where I say it's like not meant for the those who are sensitive, Taurus, right? These, this is your tough love moment in the name of progress. So we have the spirit of cups, opportunity and creativity, Taurus. So while you do have a lot of distraction distractions going on, you still have the potential, Taurus, to really capitalize on something, capitalize either on um, a situation that you're currently in. Maybe for some of you Tauruses, you're in a place where you can be more creative, pick up a little project that could potentially grow to be something a lot more profitable in your life, right? Um, consider, you know, this is a, a situation of where um, Taurus, like, kind of asking yourself, like, you know, you're in this place of self-reflecting in, term in terms of your long run, or... Don't mind me, Taurus. I've like been so thrown off today. You're thinking so much in terms of your, in regards to your long term. There we go. Um, it feels almost as if like you have the opportunity to like nurture something more, Taurus. But you know, let me just pull some cards. Three cards here. We have the Nine of Cups, the Page of Cups again for you, and the Three of Cup Wands. These cards are following you, darling. Now, the Nine of Cups and the Page of Wands are, are inverted for you, Taurus. And then you have this, what was this card again? The Three of Wands following you as well. I'm not following you because you have the Two of Wands. So it's, this is in a sense, Taurus, where it's like you're ignoring, it feels like you're ignoring like, um, the opportunity of doing something that would be a lot more fulfilling for you and i feel like taurus this kind of is referring back to some of y'all's older reading where you passed up on a certain opportunity like i feel like you and i said this before taurus i feel like you could push yourself more but just the thing is and i feel like you know you could push yourself more and more than just like one specific way right i'm not saying that you need to hermit down and just focus just on like your work life right i feel like you need to be able to like I don't know, uh, Taurus. I feel like you're associating being keeping yourself busy with actually being productive, and I don't feel like those go hand in hand for you right now. Because in this dynamic, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups in the reverse for you, this is showing to me that you're not really going down something that you feel necessarily passionate about or something that makes you feel good, right? Three of Wands is showing to me where it's like you're already getting signs of this as well, where you're just like, I don't know if this is for me right now. You know, for even some of you Tauruses, I know um, classes are coming up for some of you guys so Tauruses some of y'all may be having this thought somewhere it's just like I don't know if I want to do these classes anymore I don't know if I want to go to school anymore right the um so your the overall message from your guides this week um Taurus is coming from this place of where it's like you know are the choices that you're making or do you actually see yourself doing this in the long term or are you just kind of going uh you know taking it day by day and going at it from a more survivalistic standpoint and not necessarily thinking about how you're going to personally feel about this in the long run longevity right closing this off two cards i guess we have the three of swords and the seven of cups um coming in here now the seven of cups is in the reverse with the three of swords so this is showing to me Taurus, that you guys are making your choices based off of almost like either the fear or something Taurus, or this sense of um yeah i kind of want to say it's like the fear or something right you feel like you're being pigeonholed and kind of forced or only like forced into this decision of being like oh i have to do these classes right i feel like you're pigeonholing yourself for whatever your reason is right your narrative your storyline is going to be everyone's storylines rather is going to be different Taurus, but 
it does feel like you feel forced into this, like you have no other options. And I feel like your guides are trying to tell you, Taurus, that you actually do have options, that it's not too late to change your plans. Taurus is overall really the thing. That's why I want to say it's like, I prob probably will even title your video that way, Taurus, and saying it's not too late because that's kind of the main theme for that. So now, Taurus, let's get into uh, the good stuff that's in the works for you this week, darling. We have the Eight of Swords, Overcoming Fears and Self-Entrapment. So this is the card that was in the Inverted for you that we started this reading with now, Taurus. So this is coming up for you again. I like this energy. So because this is in the good stuff working for you. So this is showing to me that you are working through your fears. So it's showing to me, Taurus, by the end of this week, you're going to be taking those very courageous, bold moves towards um, doing something that probably will, will be fulfilling to you more. So I'm getting a sense by the end of this week, Taurus, that some of you guys are probably going to be dropping out of some of your classes. I'm getting a sense, not that I'm telling you what y'all should do, honey, right? I'm not trying to like, this is not my business what you do, honey. But <laughs> I do get this sense that you guys are no longer going to be functioning from too much of a place of fear and more so going for something that actually you feel hopeful for. So let's get some clarifiers on this, honey. I'm starting this out with two. We have the Six of Cups and the Justice card coming in, the Libra card. Now, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. This is coming in as like, kind of like rekindling something from the past, something coming back into order with something that you have history with, with that Three of Cups. Now, Taurus, this is why I ask you to tab back in real quick, honey, so you can look at this Six of Cups because it looks, the imagery is important for this, darling. The, you see the little boy with the dog here, and then it's just like, progresses down throughout the years to a man and the same dog right as time goes on so it shows to me a connection to us that you've had for a long time now justice card coming in here is through you overcoming your fears now i don't know if you had some reservations about you know maybe opening up to somebody again right something that you've had history something that you've had history with i don't know if maybe if, if this is speaking for a job maybe picking up an old job again um going down like a you know maybe you're picking up cosmetology or something again for example right something that you initially started to do but maybe life just got in the way and you couldn't afford it anymore right we have the king of cups with the ace of swords coming in here so yeah it's almost like the better sense that you have going uh with your mental health taurus and just with what's going on in here um, it feels like you, the, this Ace of Swords, the thoughts that you've had, something that you initially were not considering for a while, attached to the Six of Cups here, showing to me this sense of where um, you thought something was hopeless. But now it, it's actually turning out to be something that you can might actually be able to work out now. You know, with this King of Cups here, this is what brings it into balance. It's just like emotional, mental maturity and having a greater hold on things, not really reacting um, out of emotion, out of emotions and just thinking things through logically. We have the Queen of Wands and it's through this ability that you feel almost even more comfortable with yourself, Taurus, to in just how you carry yourself, right? And that gives you that sense of freedom, right? And then you have the Three of Cups and this naturally just brings forth like, I mean, this is a victory card in general, Taurus, but this is also a card of where it's talking about just the coming together of people. This is a situation with people, things working out, you know, maybe there's, you know, this comes, this does give me such a, such a sense here of where it's just like, at least on your end, Taurus, the more emotional healing, the more mental maturity and the better grasp that you have going on up here. Um, it's almost like some other connection, something else is healed that you thought was hopeless and now is going to be coming together in some way. So very interesting, very interesting, Taurus. Now, darling Taurus, let's get into your social situations this week. Let's see what's going on in your social life, your romantic life, honey. It could be your platonic life, could be your work life, darling. Let's see what's going on there. We have the elk card. 
This card says, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. So I was kind of getting this suspicion as well that this is going to be the type of card that came forward for you, Taurus, because let me explain, right? We're talking about your mental and just emotional maturity that we're having from your general portion, Taurus. And this is showing to me, and I even made the note when we pulled that Queen of Wands where I was just like, okay, Taurus, like you're getting a lot more comfortable just spreading your own wings and flying and putting yourself out there, asking for what it is that you're wanting. And... I, you know, you know, it's almost like the sense that, you know, the more comfortable and like less secure, like the more secure rather that you feel in yourself, the easier it is for you to finally get out of some like deep rooted rut. And it's through you getting out of that deep rooted rut that something else that was kind of a hope lost cause comes back into fruition. And I feel like for some of y'all Tauruses, it's about a connection, right? So let's get some clarifying cards. We have the Queen of Swords. So this is a situation where there has been some distance for a while, right? Your guard has been up with this connection for quite some time. You've been, definitely have had some time to think to yourself, to think and decide like how you want this connection to be in your life, if you want this connection to be in your life going forward, right? You have the Four of Cups inverted. So this is the thing, you've kept your distance, right? As the Queen of Swords, but you still have kept, like, that's the thing, like, you kept your distance, but then you had your head turned back and be like, oh, are they looking? Are they watching me walk away? Sort of thing this entire time. So there's already a deep part in you, Taurus, with this type of connection where you're just like, kind of almost hopeful that they're looking at you, right? But you're too embarrassed to say that you want them to look for you, to that you want them to fight for you. Uh, Taurus, it's almost like you have like the shame or just the shyness about it, right? For some of you Tauruses, you just need to like say, like say what it is that you want out of a person, right? Don't be so shy about your feelings, right? It's okay to acknowledge that you're human and that you have your own soft, fuzzy emotions, darling. We all feel them. We have the Hermit card standing back in for you. So you are, you're so used to Taurus, like being protective in some way it feels like you, the moment something gets starts feeling a little bit more intimate intimate to you romantic or uh, platonic darling because you can be intimate without there being any type of romance um you start shutting down you start reclusing a little bit and i almost you know i want to just naturally say maybe it's like an insecurity in yourself where you want to protect that sensitive part to yourself because you don't want that to be mocked or what have you, Taurus, right? You know, or whatever your reasoning is, right? You could be protecting yourself for just, you know, whatever your, whatever your prerogative is, darling. Um, I do feel like this is kind of like your safety zone is where it's like you just turtle up or rather you shell up and you just like close yourself off from anything. And the death card, you know, maybe some of you, am I experiencing, am I about to call out some Tauruses on some abandonment issues that they need to be working on this week, darling? I think I am. I think I am, Taurus. With peace and love, I think I am, honey. Work on your abandonment issues. And I think your abandonment issues is directly tied to how you're personally viewing yourself, Taurus. Um, there's some insecurity that you have from there. And this could be, you know, I'm not no therapist, darling, but just from personal experience, honey, I can tell you that that kind of thing can happen from past family trauma. Right. If you know, if you're from a, if your upbringing never made you feel like you were like important or what have you, right? Or people, you know, you always felt disposable, right? That's something I'm hearing. If you always felt disposable, that's very easily could translate to your connections now, right? And the moment you start feeling things, you're just like, oh, I gotta protect myself, honey. All right, now, Taurus, let's get into your financial and career this week. Let's see what's going on there. What's in the works for this, darling? Right. What's going on for my uh, Taurus's financial and career this week? Let's see here. We have the Cardinal card, Taurus. This card says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. Some of you Tauruses have been ignoring your signs from spirit, darling. I feel like this card is coming forward, Taurus, and letting me know, darling, that some of you guys haven't been connecting to your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, whatever it is your belief systems are, whatever your spiritual practices are, darling. You've been ignoring the signs, or rather, you prob probably have been missing the signs. Something I want to point out, Taurus, I can't help but feel like some of you guys have been, um, thinking about, and I normally don't even speak on stuff like this because I just feel like it's so not my place. 
um, to speak on something like this personal. But I do feel as if there's been some, because the Cardinal really, a lot of people will represent to be like a sign from the otherworldly. And I feel like some of these Tauruses have had some thoughts of like a, uh, recently have had a, some constant reoccurring thoughts of a past loved one. Maybe there's been like an anniversary of a passing away as of recent, or maybe just a holiday has made you bittersweet and thinking about them. I feel like you feel it's almost like you're feeling alone, but I feel like they're trying to leave some signs. Maybe it even is through Avery. I just um, want to leave that extra message. I know this is the career portion, Taurus, <laughs> um, but I just want to like, bring that uh forward for those that it resonates with but getting back on track for this to be for your career as well listen to your intuition because i really do feel as if like your intuition is trying to guide you into some smart decisions i say listen to your intuition taurus and i pull the high priestess card the card of intuition definitely you guys taurus have some really strong ideas remember what i was saying before about the ace of swords being inverted for you where you actually start considering those um creative thoughts that you've been having right knight of pentacles in the back of the deck as well this is a card of making taking on a new journey going into a new journey getting out of your comfort zone uh taurus right two of cups coming in here um hmm. why is two of cups here and the ace of pentacles in the reverse this is again coming back into i don't know for like, this is i feel like more so for a very for very specific tourists where it's like somehow your career and your your finances are connected to another person uh Taurus. and i really do feel like you like making up with a person or getting closer with a person is directly coordinated to your financial situation right I have to make the joke because I just have to, darling. But it's almost like, you know, it's like the dynamic of just like if you're like a sugar baby and you have like a sugar daddy or sugar mama, <laughs> Taurus, and they're just like, you know, the closer you get with them, the more they pay you. But obviously it's not that way. That's just where my brain is at. But <laughs> anyways, Taurus, I hope you can enjoy this tarot message even with my little bit of silliness, honey. Um, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to give this reading to you. I don't take it for granted whatsoever. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, my website is down below, simplyvelka.com, along with my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everything darling is just Simply Velka. Uh, if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And if you have a friend that's into tarot, send them their zodiac sign video, and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well to us. Till next time, though, I love you so much.